One of the most important achievements in the development of modern weapons was the recent test of the 9M730 Burevestnik, a nuclear-powered global-range cruise missile, by Russia. Reportedly, the missile's exceptional endurance and range were demonstrated during the October 21, 2025 test, which reignited debates regarding strategic deterrence, environmental safety, and nuclear propulsion. The Burevestnik was airborne for approximately 15 hours, traversing approximately 14,000 kilometers, according to the Russian defense leadership. This mission had the missile changing its height and direction during the flight, which mimicked a real attack and showed it could fly steadily using nuclear power. The test represented the culmination of nearly a decade of advanced research into nuclear turbojet systems that were intended to provide missiles with an effective unlimited range. The decisive tests of the missile were successfully completed and President Vladimir Putin officially announced its success. He then instructed the military to prepare the infrastructure for its eventual deployment in the strategic arsenal. He characterized the Burevestnik as a unique invention with no analogs in the world, underscoring that this system guarantees that Russia's deterrent capabilities cannot be undermined by foreign missile defense networks. Vladimir Putin introduced the Burevestnik to the public in March 2018 as part of an address that emphasized Russia's next-generation strategic armaments. Then, it was one of six sophisticated systems which were designed to bypass Western defense shields and included the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle and the Poseidon underwater nuclear drone. However, previous Western assessments from 2016 to 2019 revealed an inconsistent development history. Limited early successes and concerns about radiation were mentioned in American intelligence reports, especially after the 2019 explosion near Severodvinsk, which was probably linked to its propulsion research. Russian specialists significantly improved the design in the following years, despite these alleged setbacks. The improved miniaturization of the onboard reactor and robust shielding systems resolved many operational issues that hampered earlier prototypes. The October 2025 test symbolized the missile's transition from proof of concept to pre-operational demonstration. In terms of technology, the 9M730 Borovesnik replaces conventional propellant as the main energy source by heating incoming air using a small onboard nuclear reactor. In stark contrast to fuel-dependent cruise missiles such as the American AGM-86 or the Russian KH-101, this design enables the missile to remain in flight for days or even weeks if necessary. Its reactor directly transfers heat to a ramjet cycle, thereby facilitating low-altitude terrain following flight and maintaining thrust indefinitely. The missile's low flight profile guarantees minimal radar visibility, frequently hovering at a mere tens of meters above the ground. This profile, when combined with unpredictable maneuvering, enables it to circumvent existing air and missile defense architectures. According to reports, the missile's control system incorporates a variety of navigation modes, such as celestial navigation, terrain contour matching, and GLONASS satellite data, which allows for operation in environments where GPS is unavailable. The Burevestnik is structurally larger than the majority of conventional cruise missiles. It has a mass of 1.5 to 2 times that of the KH-101 missile and a length of approximately 12 meters at launch. It is initially propelled by a detachable solid-fueled booster and transitions to nuclear cruise mode upon attaining a sufficient altitude and speed. Its distinctive aerodynamic configuration, which is appropriate for sustained long-duration flight, is characterized by its centered air intake and top-mounted wings, which set it apart from other Russian designs. The Burevestnik's capabilities complement other systems, such as the RS-28 Sarmat ICBM and Avangard hypersonic glider, thereby expanding Russia's deterrence spectrum. The missile's purpose is more concerned with survivability and unpredictability than with swift strike. It can hit well-protected locations that regular missiles can't reach, 
because it can come at targets from unexpected directions due to its almost limitless range. This adaptability has significant geopolitical implications. The October 2025 test was perceived as a direct indication of Russia's enduring strategic influence, as it occurred immediately following the resumption of Western military assistance to Ukraine and amid heightened global tensions. Russia bolsters the credibility of its nuclear deterrence posture by illustrating that no technological or distance defense barrier can preclude retaliatory action. The weapon challenges establish strategic assumptions for Western defense strategists. A nuclear-powered cruise missile has the potential to remain airborne for an indefinite period, approaching targets from unanticipated directions at low altitudes in contrast to intercontinental ballistic missiles, which follow predictable parabolic trajectories that are detected early by radar. These features complicate both detection and interception. NATO and U.S. authorities have not independently verified the test results, although Russian state media and defense officials announced them. Satellites have not detected any publicly reported radioactive trails, despite nuclear propulsion typically producing traceable isotopes. Low-level radiation measurements from the previous Burevesnik tests in the northern test ranges prompted international scrutiny. Nevertheless, the October 2025 launch appears to have been conducted in accordance with more stringent safety and containment protocols. Western analysts continue to harbor reservations regarding the practicality and dependability of nuclear-powered cruise missiles. In spite of its theoretical advantages, the Burevesnik's potential environmental hazards and complexity render its widespread deployment unlikely, according to critics. Some argue that it is primarily used as a strategic advisor tool, emphasizing Russia's technological capabilities and reinforcing deterrence narratives, rather than enhancing its immediate combat capabilities. Nuclear propulsion poses unique hazards. Similar designs were abandoned in the past due to disastrous environmental hazards and unmanageable radiation exposure near test sites, such as the U.S. Project Pluto in the late 1950s. Russia's engineers assert that their compact reactor uses sophisticated shielding to guarantee safe containment during mass production and near-zero radiation leakage during flight. The validity of this assertion in the context of extended use remains unsubstantiated. Ecologists and global armaments control advocacy groups contend that any malfunction during mid-flight or debris from recovery operations could have catastrophic consequences. Potential radioactive dispersion would exceed national boundaries due to the missile's extensive flight path. As a result, there is a growing demand for the implementation of new international safety protocols that regulate nuclear-propelled weapons. The Burevesnik surpasses conventional long-range cruise missiles, including the Tomahawk 1,700 km and KH-101 5,000 km, with a range of up to 22,000 km. The missile's endurance allows for extended aerial patrols, such as prospective loitering attack missions, in which it circles target regions until a launch command is received. This introduces a novel concept of persistent deterrence, where a nuclear-capable platform stays in motion indefinitely, ready to strike without conventional logistical constraints. The paradigms of military engineering and nuclear strategy are likely to be transformed as a result of this extended readiness. To ensure the reliability of ultra-long missions, Russian teams implemented sophisticated thermal management and magnetic shielding to safeguard onboard electronics from radiation interference. The missile's autonomous route correction capability is another indication of the growing incorporation of artificial intelligence into strategic weaponry. According to Russian industry sources, preparations are currently being made to transition Burevesnik into a limited strategic deployment between 2026 and 2027. It is purported that specialized silos and transport erector launchers, as well as facilities that are well-suited for their maintenance and management, are currently under construction at northern test sites. 
The Defense Ministry intends to incorporate these missiles into the Aerospace Force's long-range assets to facilitate rapid redeployment from remote Arctic regions in the event of a need. Nevertheless, operational maturation is contingent upon the ongoing improvement of flight control precision, launch reliability, and reactor safety. Although Russian leadership emphasizes readiness, independent analysts suggest that full-service entry may still necessitate several iterative tests prior to 2027 to guarantee consistent performance. The Bura Vestnik is a symbol of Russia's commitment to maintaining strategic parity with prominent global powers under the doctrine of mutual deterrence, which extends beyond the technical domain. Its successful test is not only a technological triumph, but also a political one, as it asserts that Russia is at the vanguard of nuclear-era innovation, unaffected by international sanctions or isolation. The missile also reinstates a psychological deterrence dimension that is reminiscent of Cold War dynamics. In this scenario, possessing an undetectable and unstoppable weapon deters aggression without any use. Moscow serves as a reminder to its adversaries that despite the global proliferation of precision missile technologies, its designs continue to prioritize survivability, unpredictability, and endurance by revealing its operational readiness after years of opacity. In conclusion, the October 2025 test of the 9M730 Buravestnik is an important step in the development of strategic deterrence technology. The missile, which is propelled by a compact nuclear reactor and is engineered for virtually limitless range, defies the traditional limits of missile endurance and approach predictability. The successful flight of the missile will bolster Russia's position in global strategic stability debates, regardless of whether it becomes an active component of Russia's weapon inventory or remains a symbol of nuclear innovation. The Bura Vestnik is more than just a weapon. It embodies a technologically audacious philosophy of deterrence. Russia has once again opened the frontier between the possible and the impractical in nuclear propulsion by reviving concepts that have been abandoned since the Cold War. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us